Hello everybody and welcome to Dreadout Keepers of the Dark. Hopefully the start of a new series, depending on what you think of this, really. Now, Dreadout Keepers of the Dark is not a sequel to Dreadout. Not as such, anyway. It's uh, it's more like DLC, more like a spin-off of, uh, of Dreadout. I'm still going to be playing as Linda, but this time I'm going to be in like another dimension, fighting against eight different ghosts in eight different locations. Something like that, anyway. Uh, before we get started, I've um, got to give a shout out to The Pale Recluse, who is actually one of the viewers, one of my subscribers, who gifted me this game over Steam, so thank you very much for that. Okay, uh, hope you enjoy it. If you do, let me know. Here we go, new game. I played an hour or so of the actual Dreadout game just previous to this, just to get acclimatized to it again. Get used to the controls, get used to the game mechanics. This place. It's never empty. The power it contains is not diminished. And its keepers never sleep. With all the sacrifices I've made, I will not return empty-handed. Not this time. It's been too long for the uninitiated. There will be many hardships. <laughs> okay, good way to start the game. I'm dead already. <laughs> Welcome back to the wonderfully weird world of Dreadout, I suppose. I have to say, if you're not familiar with Dreadout, then I suggest you either watch my playthrough of it or play the game yourselves. Um, if you're not going to do all that, I would... I'm, I, what would I, what'd I say? I guess it's like an Indonesian Fatal Frame with some really creative ghosts. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, that's not a bad summation, I don't think. But, uh, okay. Let's run towards the light. Needless to say, Dreadout is probably going to be spoiled either by the game or by me talking about it, so uh, you have been warned. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Right, yeah, welcome to Keepers of the Dark, Realm of the Unseen. And this is the uh, the weird world that I'm talking about. I think this is going to act as our lobby, pretty much. Okay, now, uh, let's see. Let's just do a bit of a, a bit of a check. So, have we got both cameras? We do, okay. I was like F to pull out the flashlight or F to give the camera a flash. I get it, okay. So let's see what we got. Okay, we got eight doors for eight ghosts, I assume. Is this guy a ghost? <laughs> I guess not. He's just the cleaner. He's cleaning a carpet with a mop, I think. Uh okay, I'll I'll let him get on with that, I suppose. Alright, where are we going to start? Let's see. Well, actually, tell you what. Can we just see if there's anything at the end of this corridor at all? Oh, no. Nothing at all. Apart from a piano. Can I use that? Anything Anything hiding behind the piano? No? Never mind. Okay, let's, um... Well, let's go back over there where we started. Actually, what is that over there? Ooh, it's humming. It's not finished yet. Okay. It's a mirror, but I can't use it. It's not finished yet. I don't know what it is exactly, but certainly not finished. Right, let's uh, let's be boring. Let's pick the first one on the left, if possible. Do you want to enter this realm? Uh, yeah. Right. Oh, 104. Oh. We might be doing these out of order. Does that matter? I guess not. We're allowed in. Okay. So, Telaga Anka, Curse of the Beast. I presume that's the translation from Indonesian. Okay. Cool. Uh, looks pretty dark, so I'm going to side with the camera phone instead of this. Although the flash is very good, but yeah. I think this is probably better in dark uh, environments. Okay, so... If you remember Dreadout, you'll know that, much like Fatal Frame, I suppose, some ghosts you can only see through the camera lens or through the phone, uh, through the phone lens and everything like that. So, 
I will just be doing systematic checks just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Right, let's um, let's go straight ahead, shall we? Or uh, or not? Unless I can, I don't know, photograph this out the way. Nah, that be <laughs> that would be too convenient. Right, so um, that's blocked off. This way it is. What have we got here? Dread sense. Okay, sure. Bit of a bit of a junction here. Where are we going? Let's go straight ahead again. Oh, hang on. There's something on the floor. That's an item, right? Yeah. Okay. So again, if you remember Dread Out, you'll notice that occasionally there's a light blue or a white. Uh, I think it's called a vignette. Comes up around the outside of the screen, and when it's this color, it means there's something nearby to have a look at. Usually an item, and this one is a dance performance flyer. Olivia S. Anselmo, apparently. Okay. Yep, apparently that's what it's for, because it's just gone. And is that a dead end? They look like bars to me. Yeah. Whoa! Right. Okay. Yeah, I think there's something down here. <laughs> something we probably have to deal with. Oh, hang on. Oh, I just had a terrible thought that it might be just something I couldn't see unless I'm looking through the phone. Oh, okay. Well, that was pretty scary, honestly. I don't know why I sat on the fence about this game. I, I don't know. I, I guess I remembered all the annoying things about Dreadout and didn't want to give this a go. Because there were quite a, a lot of annoying things about Dreadout. Uh, you know, game mechanics, controls, stuff like that. It's very rough around the edges, but all in all, it's... Oh, God! What the fuck's that? All in all, it's still quite fun. Right, we've got... We've got kids. We've got babies. On the ceiling and the walls. Are they meant to be umbilical cords? They're like spikes. Oh, God, keep away. The camera doesn't seem to be doing anything to them. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. They're definitely enemies. What the... What the fuck? What the hell's that? Hang on. Wait, wait, the flash might be better. Something just came through. What the fuck? And there's an item down there. Right. There's <laughs> so many things going on at once. I can't seem to do anything to these kids. Oh, God. Actually, there's no red tint, no red vignette around the, the outside of the screen, so I guess they're not enemies. But that... Oh, God, what the hell is that? That is... It's sucking up leaves and dust by the looks of it. Oh, God, you've got a weird head. <laughs> oh god, no, 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 no! Oh! Trip me up! Fuck! God, it's so dark down here. Yeah, I'm going back to this, I think. Where'd it go? I guess this is the beast that we need to deal with? This is the ghost of this area? It's not the babies at all. They were just a distraction. Where are you going? I don't think he's coming after me. I think he's trying to run away. But, you know, I suppose you've got to deal with it all the same. Right, okay. <laughs> Run. You coming this way? Good to know, okay. Tell you what, let's go back to this camera. This has got, like, rapid fire and everything, hasn't it? There you go. Just keep doing it, keep doing it. Keep it grounded, okay. Uh, okay, it, I, I guess I dealt with it. Objective updated and Ghostpedia, so... Let's have a look. What do we got? Um, files. Is it? That's right. Okay. Yeah, I did do this out of order. So we're in we're in 104 Colonial Sewer. The man dog ghost has been impounded. <laughs> Somehow I sense another beast presence. Okay. So yeah. Whoops, I guess. But it doesn't I guess it doesn't matter which order you do them in. But there's a dark sewer, a village outskirt, a graveyard. Uh the other sewer, of course. A suburbia, a haunted school, an abandoned village, and a grand hall. Well, quite a lot of variety, really. Pretty cool. Okay, um, Ghostpedia then? Devorador. What the hell? Devorador is a demon shaped like a deformed canine. He was once a human being without the consciousness of one. He derived pleasure from mistreating animals, especially dogs. It's possible that this habit tem uh, stems from the abuse he endured from his father during childhood. Right, that explains that, I guess. 
very very personalized ghosts that seems to be part of indonesian culture it really but it really depends on how you died and how you lived as to what sort of ghost you end up as but there we go i dealt with that um but there's another there's another beast presence down here right so let's go deal with that one is it another devorador let's see let's go let's go this way again um so we got kids, and I'm not going to treat them as enemies, even though they have very, very sharp umbilical cords by the looks of it. No, I'm okay. Right, what is this? It's a gramophone handle. Okay. And what looks to be a dead end, so let's go back. Alright, back to this. Okay, so uh, where's this other beast? This is all new, I think. It's a bit of a maze down here, but I don't think we've come this far yet. Uh, how does that go? Dead end, I think? Yeah, I think they're bars. No items or anything? Nope. Okay. <gasps> oh, shit! What the f- What? What? Fucking hell, I'm freaking out. What the hell's this? <laughs> oh my god. Right, back to this camera. Holy shit, that is so fast! <laughs> oh! Oh, right, yeah, okay. Gets a few frames of immunity, apparently. Invulnerability, or whatever you call it. We're gonna go. Let's go this way. Oh no, this way's a dead end. Oh Jesus! Ah, ah. He is quick. This is the beast, isn't it? This is the the curse of the beast, not the. What the fuck? Where'd he go? Did I deal with him? Let's okay. Let's have a look at the objective. What what just happened there? Uh, Linda's notes, I guess. The furry monster looks like it's retreating somewhere. Right. I guess we gotta follow it. We gotta deal with it, right? That is not exactly what I expected to run into around the corner. It's bloody huge. <laughs> so where did he go? Where did he retreat to? I guess he went this way. And then... That, that's a dead end. Did he destroy the bars or anything? No? Oh god. They might not be enemies, but they're damn freaky. I'd like to know a little bit more, actually, but if I can't beat them, they don't get added to my Ghostpedia, so... Bit of a shame. I don't think I dealt with them in Dreadout, so... Yeah. Well, he's not here. I guess he went this way. I'm going even deeper into this place now. Oh, what's that? Ooh. That's an item. What is that? That looks very luxurious. Very expensive. Got will be on the other side of the bars, though, so let's go around. <laughs> what was that thing, anyway? It looked like, um... Like a bear or a fox with loads of tails? Maybe it is tails. On roids. No idea. It must have gone this way. So many rats down here. Okay. <laughs> not, not like uh, hiding above me on the ceiling or anything. Okay. In the pipes, perhaps? No? Okay. Is that another item? No? What is that? The Beast. The Drawing of the Beast by MP. I'll take a photograph of that. <laughs> Actually, I think... I think this game allows you to save all of the photographs you take with the in-game camera, so I think potentially I could have, like, thousands of JPEGs <laughs> of me trying to destroy these ghosts. Okay. Right. Let's go over here and check this out. This is the item that looks so luxurious. What is it? It's a charm needle made of silver supposedly possessing mystic powers. And I can't help but feel that I've got one of those before in the main game. I can't remember what it does, though. Uh, let's have a look at the objective. Go on. Uh, haunted school? Okay. The silver needle looks exquisite. Wonder what it's for, and are there more? So the needle's for the school. That's for room 106. Oh. Well, that's pretty interesting. So you can take items from other places and take them to other rooms? Cool. Alright. Might be a little bit of backtracking then, if that's the case. 
Anyway. We're still hot on the heels of this, um, weird fox thing. What's that? Oh, man. Is that a head? Oh, that's... Does he turn people to stone? Is he like Medusa or something? There's more down here. Big people, too. But they're not ghosts. And, uh, so far, so good. They're not coming to life or anything. Weird. Oh, God. There he is. Right. This is your lair, is it? Nice place. Love what you've done with it. Alright, um... It's actually quite light around here, so I'm gonna stick with this one. <laughs> Use my rapid-fire rapid, rapid fire shot technique, see if we can deal with this thing. This feels like such a stupid idea. What is all this? Oh, God. <laughs> That looks so demonic. It's looking right at me as well. How many tails do you have? Is it nine tails? This kind of feels like a stadium. Is this Pokemon Stadium right now? Indonesian girl with a phone taking on nine tails. I'd like to see that. Oh god, here we go. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come on. Oh god, yeah, he's, he's got... You have to be within, like... I don't know, a few meters range, it seems, for anything to work. Oh, God. <laughs> just run, just run. Oh, no. He's fast. He's just toying with me. Right. So, take a snapshot and run. That seems to be a pretty good... Pretty good strategy right now. Oh. What's going on? Oh, did I get it? Hang on, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, I guess I'm not in range. Whoa. Whoa, dear. Oh, what? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Tried to sidestep that one. Oh, man. Oh, he's going for my legs now. Shit, he's freaking fast. <laughs> this is quite fun. Needless to say, he's a lot more uh, difficult than Devorador. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, you're trying to do like a, a Russian leg sweep on me with your tail, are you? Jesus, what? He walks on walls? This thing. What the fuck? This is a load of fun, actually. Bloody hell. Oh, my. Seriously, if he wanted to, he could pounce on me and like kill me in one hit, probably. Oh, God. Oh, that's exactly what he's going to do. I don't know what the health situation is in this game. I can't really remember if I'm like, if I regenerate health. I don't have a health bar, and obviously nor does he. Jeez. Yeah, keep keep trying to sidestep me. Wait, where are you going? Oh god. <laughs> oh, that was close. That was close. Oh, that's closer. Okay, come on. How many times do I have to do this? I mean, I've probably got all your angles, all your poses. I guess there just aren't enough scratches on my legs for his taste. Oh. Okay, hang on. Let's see if we can get closer. Oh, it's working now! Right, yeah. Yeah, every time the camera glitches, that means I can actually hurt the thing. And I am hurting it. Not anymore. Hang on. That's, that's good, isn't it? It looks like it's dying. Did I do it? Spirit banished! Objective and Ghostpedia updated, so we beat it! Brilliant! Okay. Oh. Returning to Mirror Realm. I guess that's what the lobby area is called. Cool! That was a, that was a load of fun, actually! Oh, what's this? Oh, it's Miss Siska. Alright, that, I assume. That's the mirror. I got pulled through that mirror, right?
Okay. And uh, and we're back. Brilliant. Okay. Um, there's that guy again. Sure. And 104. The candles. The candles are out. I guess that means I um I've I've done what I need to do in that room. I I banished the spirit. So yeah, that's 104. So that's 103. That's 102. And that's 101. Okay. Sure. So from now, let's just go in order. Might be a little bit boring, but um. Let's go to 101 and see what that is all about. But before that, actually, let's just have a look at where we're going. Oh, it's the dark sewer. Right. And I've got an item for the haunted school, too. Interesting. Okay, um, Ghostpedia. What was that thing called? Oh, it was called Ninetales! Okay, I guess we've got some Pokemon fans over there in Indonesia making this game. This mysterious being has lived for centuries. Her appearance- oh, sorry, not, not his, her appearance, is that of a fox with nine tails. It is said that the more tails a mystical fox she has, uh, the older and more powerful the fox is, which in her case indicates that she has lived for more than nine centuries. So she's nearly a millennia old. Being a trickster in nature, she sometimes manifests herself as a beautiful woman, just for the sake of fun. Fair enough. Okay, again, a very, very specific ghost there. But that was cool, that was fun. Um, if they're all like 104, I'm going to be happy. Yeah, thank you again to the Pale Recluse. Alright, so let's head over to the, uh, the other sewer, I suppose. Through this door, 101. <laughs> okay, good way to start the game. I'm dead already. They look like bars to me. Yeah, whoa! <gasps> oh shit, what the f- what? what? Oh dear. Oh, what? Oh, you're trying to do like a Russian leg sweep on me with your tail, are you? Jesus, what? He walks on walls? 